Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I have a little haul today of the Pen and Gear Traveler's Notebooks. So I picked up all of these. So let's go through and see what these are like. I'm going to start with the black one. It's 140 pages of weekly pages and 140 dot grid. This is what it looks like. It's not I think it's supposed to be like that new buck feel. Um, so it's a matte finish. It's soft. It's padded. And it is reinforced on the inside. So it's not like a regular traveler's notebook in that the cover is reinforced. It's similar to a six ring planner. So it's not flexible. As you can see, this is my B6 traveler's notebook from Mystic's Little Gifts. Um, and if you order from her shop, you can use my code Rochelle20 to save 20% off your order. But as you can see, it's not reinforced. It is flexible and bendable. So that's the difference here. Um, let's look at the size difference. This is the B6 and the Walmart version is about a half inch taller and about a quarter of an inch wider. It also has card slots in the front so the cards can go in horizontally and they go down to that depth. So just a little bit of the top peeking out and each pocket is like that. So that's one, two, three pockets on the front and it is a secretarial pocket. I guess I'm going to have to peel this off so you can see better. It has a secretarial pocket so it has those. It comes with two inserts as it said. It has this full pocket on the back, a pen loop. This is what the back looks like. The strings, the binding strings are punched vertically instead of horizontally so they're up and down instead of next to each other you get four strings the strings are have metal reinforcements on them or four elastics um, they have metal reinforcements on them as well as the outside string it has a metal stopper um, it's kind of hard to see but it does have a metal stopper to keep keep the string from pulling through the hole these are the notebooks. They're gold foil patterns. This one starts with a dot grid and it has a tracker, weekly tracker, things to do, weekly to do, and notes. And you have a full notebook of that. Then this other one is dot grid, full notebook of that. The notebooks measure. five and a half by seven so it's wider than a b6 b6 is approximately five by seven it's a half inch wider than a b6 so let's see I'm gonna take this notebook out and try it in my b6 I don't know if there's a such thing as a b6 wide if you know please let me know down in the comments so it does not actually fit nicely in this B6 traveler's notebook. There is a little overhang. So I don't know why um, the makers of stationery and planners don't stick to consistent sizing. <laughs> they make things different sizes. I don't know why but they do. Okay so there's that one. I'm going to put the packaging back on. Or back with it so that's the black one let's move on to the pink it's the same setup as far as the pockets and how it's set up it just has different inserts it has gray dots and pink and white stripes this one is a weekly so it's a box weekly with grid in each box And I think it's just all weekly, yes. And then you have dot grid in the back. 
same setup. So there's that's the pink one. Let's go with the oh I did not measure the outside. Let me give you the measurements of the outside of the um traveler's notebook. So it's eight by six by eight. They're six by eight. Okay, and this is the gray one. This is what it looks like on the inside. It has this gray and white design and then a silver foil stripe design. The inserts are the same. Weekly inserts. And grid paper. So that's the gray. Then we have this one. I think it's more along the lines of personal size. It is a camo color. It has these golden elastics. The elastic binding on this one is punched in in a horizontal way, so they're not up and down, but you still get four elastics on the inside. It has the secretarial pocket in the front. It has three card slots but the cards would need to go in vertically like this and you have quite a bit of overhang in each one so it's like that okay and let's put this back the notebooks this one is a little different it has the monthly and then the weeks, five weeks in between each month. So yeah, this one is a little different because it does have the monthlies in here and it has five weeks in between each month. There's 10 months in this one notebook. Then you have, of course, the dot grid notebook, four strings, metal reinforced, same features as the other larger notebook has the full pocket in the back pen loop and i think these are really great if you're just starting out or wanting to test out traveler's notebooks the larger notebooks were 642 the smaller one was seven dollars and 76 cents i'm not sure why this one was more expensive maybe because of the bands i don't know I've seen online that there are other colors in this. I think there's a navy and a lavender color, um, but I have not found those yet. I want to do a few little tests with these. Let's start with the personal size. This is a personal size insert from Prima. So it's three and three quarters by six and three quarters. Let's see how it fits in this notebook. This is true personal size. I don't have any B6 Slim. I guess I could cut one, but. So this is the size difference of an actual personal size insert. So you could use them in this. This is what it would look like. But it could work. And then that would depend, depending on how many notebooks you put in, it probably would be fine. Um, I think the reason that this works with these notebooks being as large as they are is because there's only two notebooks in here. But if you really wanted to stuff this, um, you probably could and it would probably be fine. Fit, fit nicely with personal size inserts. The only thing is, I don't know how stuffing these would work with the reinforced covers. Now we're going to test and see if the HP Mini will fit. This is an HP or Happy Planner Mini and I just want to see if it fits in this. You could use it as a Happy Planner cover. An affordable option. Yes it does. However, I don't think you would actually be able to use the inside elastics because there isn't much room wiggle room in there and you would have to use the um, the mini discs bigger discs would not work okay 
but it fits perfectly. So now let's test the Michaels Recollections mini planner. Um, the difference is it's on coils. This is the size difference as compared to the mini happy planners. The Michaels planner is wider by about a quarter of an inch and shorter by about a half an inch. So there is a size difference. So let's see if this will fit in here. It does slide in. However, it does not close properly. I'm pretty sure that's because the Michaels planner is wider. Um, you could probably force it, but you may end up damaging your coils. It just depends on your own personal taste. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it does fit. Okay, so, and that would be really, really pretty in there too, with the rose gold. Anyway... So let's put these back. Okay, I'm going to actually do a little setup in this. Um, I've already done a plan with me using Walmart stickers and you'll see that video coming up soon. Um, this is my JDM Brooklyn pen. I put that in the pen loop and I went and got my pen case. It does not match exactly. So I probably won't be using this on here but if you have the other colors or a different color it does fit on this notebook it's just unfortunate that it's not the right color and I've got my dashboards out I had had them in my B6 travelers notebook but I'm gonna put it in here I'll probably end up changing this paper because I don't really care for the way it looks but I'm gonna put it around both books and all the elastics if I can just to see if it fits yeah. It's a really tight fit here. Yeah, that's really tight. I don't think it's meant to go around. <laughs> let's get these out of let's get all this stuff out of the way. I don't think it's meant to go in those those two smaller elastics. So I'm gonna take it out. I'm already bending up the paper even worse than it already was. So I'm just going to put it around this first book on the longer elastic. That's the problem with doing elastics um, with the holes vertical like this. It makes the two of the strings shorter than the rest. So let's pull that on out of the way. But the clear cover does fit nicely over it. It makes me want to get another one. It's just that the um, these little... The packets that they come in have all been picked over in the store. People have unzipped them and changed out the insides and everything. I, I really don't like that. I wish people wouldn't do that. but So I wouldn't buy another one until I find one that hasn't been tampered with. So anyway, I just wanted to share that little bit of setup. These are the magnets that came in that kit. Also... So, the pen case doesn't match. Everything else works great. Let me put my bow back on. And yeah, that's what it looks like. And back to this personal size version, I also wanted to check to see if the Hobonichi Weeks would fit in it. This is just the regular Weeks. It's not the Mega Weeks. But let's see if it will fit in here. I'm going to take both of these notebooks out. For this so this is what it looks like without the notebooks in it now I have a cover on cover on my weeks so it's a little bit bigger than it ordinarily would be but let's just see if it will fit oh, I don't want to mess up my pages I just want to see if it will fit with the cover on cover you know what? I don't want to even put it in the elastics. Let's see if we can slide it into this back pocket. Nope. Not with the cover on it. 
you could probably put it on the elastics but I don't want to keep stretching them out and it would fit like this so it would work for the Hoponichi weeks if I take it out of the cover so this is just the notebook on its own it's it will slide in there just so and I think you would still have room for a notebook in this so that's great it will it does work with the Hobonichi weeks with room for another notebook okay so that works I picked up all four of these to not only share them with you so that you can check your Walmart, see if you can find them if you're interested or would like to try out a traveler's notebook, but also to do a giveaway. So I will be having a giveaway on, through my Facebook group, through YouTube, my YouTube channel, and my Instagram account. Each location will have the rules and information on how to enter the giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Good luck on the giveaway. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.